Welcome back to Paraflinch, everybody. Welcome back to Paraflinch, everybody. This is Clown Town. That is what I'm calling it because, uh, because I don't know how to name things. Anyways, uh, we've got Blastcephalon, 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 GX. Uh, one of the newest cards, uh, one of the newest, greatest cards out of Lost Thunder. It is an awesome, awesome card. If you don't know what it does, let's just go over real quick. For one, Fire Energy, Bursting Burn. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and confused. Really cool. So immediate 20 damage. Possible they could flip tails and keep the burn on them in between turns and confusion is just really annoying we've seen that in the early sun and moon with espion gx and just throughout uh this whole format confusion is just super annoying to deal with uh for two fire energy mind blown does 50 uh damage times the number of fire energy attached to your pokemon that you put in the lost zone so it doesn't need to be on blastcephalon it could be on anything on your board um, which is really important for uh, the cards that we'll be talking about in just one second. We're going to talk about Burst GX real quick. Uh, Burst GX, discard one of your prize cards. If it's an energy card, you can attach to one of your Pokemon. So if you hit the Beast Energy or the Fire Energy from your prizes, then you can attach it. Awesome. And you get to get rid of a prize card. So what I, why I was saying it was important that your Fire Energy is attached to anywhere on your board is for Naganadal. Uh, ability charging up once during your turn before you attack. You may attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So really awesome. Uh, you can just keep stacking energy each time or each turn um, just, to, just to hit those big um, mind blowns. And then uh, Naganadal also has a really cool attack. Uh, if you are on three prizes, your attack does 80 more damage, so a total of 160. And um, this pretty much, uh, without without this clause here, just the base damage of 80 damage, you're taking care of everything in Shrine Deck. So I love it. I love Naganadal. It's such a great card. And then uh, we, we also are running two Tapu Lele. Uh, just to go over the counts real quick, uh, four... Uh, I tested with three Blastcephalon. Four is definitely needed, um, just because late game sometimes you. So we only play one stretcher, and if you have to discard a Blastcephalon to um, dig into other pieces, for example, um, and your your board could be uh, pretty loaded with Naganadals and stuff. I've just been. Te this isn't the testing I'm. I'm just um, explaining here. Is I, I've ran into occasions where. Um, I, I was only running three and then I just, dis I accidentally discard one or, or not accidentally, but like uh, late game, I, I found I discarded mine and I don't have my rescue stretcher anymore because I had to get back Naganadal pieces or whatever. And, um, my opponent literally blows up one, uh, last stuff on and all I have is one more left. And it's like, Ooh, I don't, I can't do anything. So four is definitely needed. I really think you should be running four, uh, both in standard and expanded. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, uh, four Poipole, of course, three Naganadal. You only really need three. Um, if you run the Rescue Stretcher, you're definitely fine. Uh, two Tapu Lele, three Battle Compressor. Uh, Battle Compressor is really, <clears throat> sorry, Battle Compressor is really important in this deck because we are running Blacksmith. Blacksmith is really what is the key difference here in Expanded with Blastcephalon. Uh, ideally, you can turn one, um, get down a couple Poipole, you Battle Compressor, Blacksmith onto your, um, <clears throat> Blastcephalon, and you were ready to go. Like, you were just ready to blow anything up, honestly. Uh, super powerful, super intimidating, and strong. It reminds me of Ho OGX, you know, turn one Kiawe, but uh, for this, you know, you don't, you're not ending your turn, and you're pretty much just setting yourself up to do the same exact thing, honestly. So, anyways, um, four Beast Ring, very important for uh, turn uh, that three, four prize turn uh, of your opponents, so you can just. Uh, basically checkmate them uh, if you have the energy in deck so this deck really you have just have to be smart about maintaining what's in your deck and um, uh, another thing of, uh, that's worthy to note here is that I don't have a draw supporter or a draw <laughs> I don't have a draw uh, Pokemon um, what is it what what do you call those um, like, like Octillery and Orangaroo I draw support Pokemon there we go uh, so I don't have one of those <clears throat> uh, reason why is because uh, your board your board doesn't really need it uh, I don't think um, you're you really just want to get all your Naganadals up and bless up on you really the deck just plays itself honestly um, we do run you know heavy count of Sycamore we have three Sycamore we have four uh, versus Seeker and ideally with Battle Compressor, you're getting rid of everything you don't need in your deck. So all those fire energies that could be clumping up your deck, well then you can just put those in the discard pile, use Blacksmith, 
Um, we also run uh, the one <laughs> Prism Star Heat Factory. We wish we could run more, but it is a Prism Star. So we are running one. Uh, discard one fire energy from your hand and draw three cards. It's great. It's a buffed up Scorched Earth. We also have to play two Ultra Space just because uh, we want to get literally our Naginatals out turn two. And if need be, we can get Blast Cephalons out with it. So um, I also run two Field Blower. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. I'm like, here, here, here. <laughs> and I got two Field Blowers. Uh, specifically for Garb. Um, Garb is, is a big problem, shutting off, charging up. However, if you play smartly, I don't think Garb will be too much of a problem. You don't need to play too many items with Ultra Space. You can just get everything out um, without using any items. So um, be smart around Garb. Maybe we can get a couple matches in with Garb today. Hopefully we'll see. Um, Garb is usually all over the place. We have one N, uh, two Colrus, and one Guzma. Um, I'm thinking about actually switching uh, a Colrus for a Guzma here. Uh, I just want <clears throat> I just want more draw support, honestly, as this deck is really reliant on draw supporters. So, anyways, that's the whole deck: 16 energy um, and one beast energy. You could go down to 15. I've seen people do that. But honestly, 16 just seems to be the right number for me. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead. We got the expanded clown. Let's get in there. Let's get a few games in today. Um, getting ready for Anaheim because um, it's just right around the corner, honestly. So let's get it going. I've seen a lot of uh, Zoro control decks, and that's what's good about this deck is like, yeah, uh, Toad can be a problem. Um, however, you know, you just need to uh, get your turn one blacksmith turn, and you're pretty much good to go to smack them in the face, and they're like, hmm, I don't know what I want to do. So we do win the coin flip here. It looks like we're going against a bunch of different types of Pokemon in this deck. So let's see, we get our Poipol in the active, and we get our Heat Factory, so we'll be able to draw more cards here. I mean, honestly, a Sycamore would be good, too. Dump all of these in the discard. <clears throat> or in the, uh... Yeah, I think I might just do that. I don't want to... The problem is... Oh, we're playing against Rotom, too. Okay. That's annoying. I want to get, like, a... You know, not a, I'm not saying Rotom's not a real deck, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's see. Do I get the draw, or do I just dump all this? I think I'm just going to dump all of it, honestly. I don't want to draw into like a bunch of supporters or whatever, and that's annoying. <laughs> we just dumped four fire energy, and now we get four more. That's great. Anyways, um, that's what this is here is for. Let's hopefully get a few more poi pull outs. Um, yeah, that's good. That's great. That's great. Okay, so we got a battle compressor. Let's see. Um, well, we got plenty of uh, we got plenty of fire energy in the discard pile. Uh, I honestly don't want to put any more in there. We got a Versus Seeker. Uh, we got another Poipo. That's good. We also have our Blast Cephalon. So, sorry about the mixed arts of the Blast Cephalons. Um, but honestly, it's exactly what I have in real life. I have three regular arts and then one full art. So, pretty cool. Um, so, I think, I think, I think, I think I want to put like an N or something in there to shuffle draw. And... Do I put the Guzma in there? No, it looks like one versus Seekers. Oh, no, we dumped a versus Seeker, so we don't really want to dump supporters, honestly. Oof. Oof. Um, okay. I think that's all we want to do. You you don't usually want to use these for... I'm also going to dump the Battle Compressor, honestly. Um, that was close. Uh, you don't really want to... Um, be dumping stuff like what I just did with the battle compressor, but the way our hand turned out, you know, you really just, you really just can't. So, honestly, probably should have dumped a Guzma to be completely honest with you guys there, because now we are stuck. Unless he gets the turn one, knocks us out, whatever, then that's a thing. But that's okay. That is okay. Let's go ahead and just pass. <clears throat> So we were first, so our opponent can attack on their first turn. Let's see. Of course, you guys know that, but uh, I'm just commentating. So let's see how many tools they get in their discard pile. They get nine tools. We are going to get blown up. There's one. Get the tally counter. Get it going. Get it going. There's one. Scratch it. One. Nope. That's too much of a budget. I don't have. I'm not going to put a tally marker up there. Sorry, guys. Okay. <clears throat> so he's got two Frost Rotoms. 
which suck for us. I need just bricks. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> That's good for us. Let's discard a fire. And okay. Darn. I don't even want to get rid of my heat factory right now, but honestly, I think I have to. Let's go ahead and what are with these hands, man? These are crazy hands. I don't want to end my opponent. I think I will blacksmith actually. Yeah, we don't need the um, we don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead and get Nugganadel, Nugganadel, Nugganadel. Not gonna lie, it's a good card. Hey, I'll be here all the rest of my life, folks. Okay, we're gonna put the fire energies on the Nugganadels. Come on, come on, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me now, game. Let's get this on there. It's much better when you're not sick. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and retreat. And let's blacksmith. So we have like five more energy in deck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those be <laughs> beast rings just chilling there. Let's go and blacksmith. And go to the active. Bop, bop. Come on. I don't know why it gave me an option to choose where I wanted to put the Pokemon to. This is the only Fire Pokemon in play. So we just need to discard two. Let's go ahead and just... Let's go ahead... Oh, we can still attach two. Okay, let's just go here then. Let's go Mind Blown. Let's do here and here. Boom. These don't have Fire Resistance, right? No. Good. Okay. So our opponent is really... Uh, bricked right now. We're taking a good advantage here. Um, these things are scary, right? Literally, they just need... Wait, this does 20 more damage times the amount of energy attached to all your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. Probably should have... We could play around this a lot better than I did. Okay, so our opponent just scoops there. So, uh, I'm kind of stupid because I could have played around that a lot better. I basically could have just discarded everything except for one energy and they could only be doing a max of 60 damage, I think. That was 30 and then times 2, yeah. So I was stupid there. I could have got punished really bad. Um, however, we had beast rings and stuff and whatever, I mean, but our opponent break really bad. So looks like we're going against a fighting deck uh, with the fighting deck box and the fighting coin. I'm led to believe that this is a fighting deck. I didn't see the deck types, but I'm pretty sure it's a fighting deck. Okay, we do start Bless Cephalon, which is good. We do play four for that, one of those reasons. This is a better opening hand, in my opinion. Well, let's see if we can get another Fire Energy. That'd be awesome. We could just Blacksmith right on there, get a Poiple down. Uh, nope, no, we're not going to get that. We're going against Buzz GX, which is cool. I don't want to discard this hand, but I think I'm going to. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball. Yeah, that sucks. I don't want to do this, but that's what we're just going to do. So let's go ahead and do this. Get down a Poiple. Oh, I guess we could have... I guess we could Lele for like N or something. Yeah, but then if I get into a bunch of fire energy, it's not good. I think I just want to keep digging, honestly. Yeah. You know, honestly, probably... Yeah, no, Sycamore's better. Let's see. how many. We got all four Fierce Seekers and another Sycamore. I think we're going to be fine. I want to hit... Um, losing, losing the Stretcher is really what hurts, but uh, what I do want to hit is some Battle Compressors so we can put some energy in there. And hey, we didn't get any. That's exactly what I was expecting. Um, does this deck play Enhanced Hammers? Probably. But we have the option of not even... Attaching the beast energy. We do have first seeker for say blacksmith next turn if we need to. Um, if we get another energy in the discard pile. But this is not looking good. Not looking good. We probably will just sycamore next turn. Yeah, we went first, right? Okay, so let's just pass. Not the ideal start. We didn't start the two poipole like we like. Like we like. There's the beast energy. There's another Buzz. There's a Max Elixir. So he's going to be hitting us for 60 damage. Okay. 
There's a jet punch for 90? Yeah, 90 and 30. Wow. Buzz GX, guys. Super strong. Okay. So do we put this down? Because then he gets his buzz. He gets it. Well, it doesn't matter. He already has he already has stuff. Um, okay. We get Nagan Adele. Right? Or do I just assume that I can get... Hmm... Yeah, we don't get the knockout this turn, which sucks. So I think we just focus on getting Poipulse down. I think we're going to use this turn to burst. Burst GX. And then blow up... Um, blow up the Buzzwool. I think that's what we're going to do. And... Yeah, let's actually get rid of these... I don't want my opponent getting more stuff. And let's go ahead and Sycamore. Give me more, give me more Sycamore. Look at all that fire energy. That's great. That's good. I like it. Okay, three Poipole. That's great. Okay. So now we're looking really good. We actually have a Blacksmith um, for next turn. But we, we do need to get more... Nagana dealt down. So let's go ahead and just burst. We could we could burn confusion. That would be annoying for my opponent. Um, will one prize matter? Yeah, he definitely gets the knockout. Um, no, let's go ahead and burst and burn. I don't think the one prize matters, honestly. So okay, yes, don't show this again, please. My opponent is not burned anymore. Does get the uh, 20 damage instant on there, which is sweet. Um, let's see what my opponent does. Does he have a Guzma? That would be a really annoying thing. Let's see if he flips for it, honestly. He does have the Guzma, so he's going to be able to go around. He's going to take 30 damage on there, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, okay, well, we do have Guzma here, um, but we don't have Knockout. Um, another thing worthy to note for you guys right now, um, I'm gonna say this during my opponent's turn. Actually, I, I, I should just, I should just think. I should honestly just think. We, I think we're just gonna Tapu Lele for a, a chorus for six. I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. I don't want to give my opponent um, any cards. Seems that he's kind of stuck. Um, I could retreat and do another. Um, bursting burn if all else fails do you want to attach here how much card we do have three in the discard so ideally we can uh take the knockout this turn let's go ahead and chorus so yeah ideally we go into here it does activate his b strings oh we don't get any any noggin that sucks Ugh, that sucks he's gonna be able to jet punch again boy oh boy that is not good okay we do have battle compressor let's see let's see what we can get here just get more fire energy in the discard pile and i don't know i don't think there's anything else i really want to put in there um we do have plenty of um we do have plenty of uh fire energy but there's nothing else you want to get rid of in, in the deck right now we do have b string in hand um he could be setting up for a three prize turn here but yeah okay we can't do anything so we're just gonna pass which sucks it gives my opponent an extra turn to do stuff um more turns of attachments yada 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 let's see if we just see another jet punch um choice pan coming down he's loading things down okay he's gonna jet punch Let's see where the 30's going. Goes to this one. That's smart. Okay. So, we get a Noggin Adele. That's great. Uh, let's see. Um, I guess I attach here. Yeah, let's go here. And then, I think, if I wish I wish I were a fish... I'm going to get rid of that choice band. And uh, I think I'll attach to this one, this little guy. 
and I'm going to chorus because we definitely have a knockout, right? We're gonna get rid of this, this, or we're gonna get rid of, yeah, 50, 50, 150, and then 160, 180. Oh no, we can't actually, huh? I think we just blacksmith then. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't mind doing that because <clears throat> then, so let's go ahead and retreat first. I don't mind doing this at all. Let's go ahead and retreat into here because we have beast ring in hand and well let's uh let's attach here i'll just take everything off okay <laughs> okay okay and then we will uh we'll just load up another blast cephalon okay so let's go ahead and mind blown we will take off this one this one this one and all this one for 200 damage boom just uh mind blown am i right guys this is crazy there's the guzman there's the heat factory that's what was missing so we win next turn okay never mind never mind here comes another jet punch yep okay i think this is pretty much the game at this point now uh, do I do anything to conserve? I don't think so. I think, uh, I probably shouldn't have played that, honestly, but. So, just keep streaming blacksmiths, and we are good to go. <clears throat> Charge up. It's mind blown. Yeah, we do have to get rid of one on the active, unfortunately. It is worthy to note my opponent did not get an attachment for the turn, unfortunately. Oh, wait, we don't need to do. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone, hold the phone. We do have beast energy attached, so we can do 150, 160, 70. Yeah, we only need to do four, so, or three, right? 150, 160, 170, yeah, that's that's enough. That should be enough. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I wanted to mention, um, what I was saying that I should mention on my opponent's turn, is that PTCGO actually has a glitch in the system with the, it, it's early in the release, right? Um, Beast Energy, if you discard it with Mind Blown, you should be able to do uh, the, so let's say I wanted to discard Beast Energy, Fire Energy, Fire Energy, Fire Energy for a total of um, 230 damage. Um, if you discard the Beast Energy, then you just, okay, so my opponent just scoops. So if you discard the Beast Energy right now in PTCGO, you do not get the added effect of 30 damage from Beast Energy. So, um, but uh, it is confirmed and it is, uh, it is a fact that you should be getting the extra 30 damage. So that is worthy to note. Um, you can even test this with, uh, I can't remember what the fighting type Pokemon is, but with strong energy, if you discard the strong energy, you do get the bonus 20 damage uh, from strong energy, even when you discard it. Something similar to that effect. Um, but yeah, okay, let's let's go ahead and, those are both really like bad games my opponents have bricked. Um, but you can kind of see, we also didn't get like, in both of those games, we didn't get any really good hands. We had to like dump, um, sycamore versus seeker or something like that early on i mean i mean it was fine honestly for, for us we were we were fine uh we just want to keep streaming blacksmiths we were, you guys started to see that that we could just keep blacksmithing over and over and over again ideally that's just what you want to do uh, stream those one shots as what this deck wants um and honestly you know if you go against single prize attacking pokemon like okay we want all three coin flips that's sweet um <clears throat> If you go against like a shrine deck, that's fine because you have uh, Naga Nadel, so cool stuff. So let's see what our opponent's playing here. We both get a mulligan, so we, oh man, I'm gonna have to give him another. I'm gonna have to actually give him a real mulligan. So looks like he is play, playing the shrine with electric energy. No, actually, I don't know if it's shrine. There's mag cargo in there. I don't know what this is, honestly. I have no idea. So let's go ahead and give my opponent a mulligan. I am going first, which is good. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoa. Beautiful start. Whoa. Whoa. 
This is great. Okay. So, I think I just gave him one mulligan. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Let's go ahead and discard a couple fire energy and blacksmith. This is like, this is the perfect opening hand that you could ask for. <laughs> Let's go ahead and attach an energy here and versus seeker for blacksmith and this is exactly what i was saying <laughs> this is like the pressure the pressure is on and on to my opponent Let's see what he's got just don't don't pass whatever you do do not pass put down a basic pokemon that would be nice no, he's running Mag Cargo. Electric Pokemon. It's gonna Cynthia here. If he doesn't get, or if she doesn't, he or she doesn't get a uh, Pokemon here. That's not good. Okay, this is Zara Aura. Sweet. Okay, cool. This is some new stuff. Nice. Thunderclap. Um, Thunderclap zone. Any of his Pokemon that have electric type or electric energy attached, uh, you do get free retreat. Plasma Fist, just like Buzzwool's attack, does 160, can attack. Full Voltage, attach five basic energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. Okay, we top deck a awesome, awesome Battle Compressor. So we're probably gonna put three Fire Energy in there. Um, my opponent did versus Seeker for a Cynthia, but we're just gonna end him anyways. We do have a Naga Nadal prized, which is okay. We did get an awesome start with Blacksmith. It doesn't really matter too much um, when you have um, a Blacksmith if you prize a Nugget Adele, um, but let's see. Okay, we we hit a really good opening hand, or we do hit a really good opening, opening. We do hit a really good end, guys. Yes, thank you, Eric. Thank you for speaking English. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, we did not hit any fire energy but that is okay um i think we'll just discard from here i like that and then oh my gosh this is just this is just great this is just great guys i'm having fun are you guys having fun this is exactly what you want to see um <clears throat> so next turn uh let's okay Let's go ahead and mind blown. We'll just get rid of these three. Um, next turn, whatever we top deck, we can Ultra Ball for uh, away the Poiple and whatever we get, and then put down another Blacephalon. And let's see. We get the Beast energy off the prizes. It looks like everything's just going our way here. Three energy in the lost zone so far. I don't know if my opponent plays any Ultra Beast. They could take advantage of our stadium. Yeah, they did try and see what's in their deck with our stadium. Gonna switch. Oh boy, that's not good. Max Elixir, okay. Let's see if he hits it. I think he did, that's good. Zeraora now has free retreat. There goes a choice band. Trying to hit electric energy here so he can poke at me. I don't think he played a supporter yet. No, he did not. Hit Cynthia, that's good. I I'm kind of rooting for my opponent here because I really have just a broken setup right now. So... He gets the stadium down. Cool. We don't need it anymore. Oh, we could have all... We I don't know why I was saying we could Ultra Ball, because um, basic grass and lightning take 30 less damage. Okay. Got to take that into account. What I was saying is we could have just Ultra Spaced for... Um, uh, what's I'm going to call it? A uh, Blacephalon. So we do top deck Sycamore. Do we want to like dig for stuff? Not really, honestly. I'd rather just 
blacksmith. Oh, we don't even have any energy either. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I don't think so. I don't think we want a blacksmith. Or how much beast energy? Okay, we still have three left in our deck. I actually don't even know if it's in our deck yet, but we are just going to uh, Sycamore here. We have our Dream Poiple set up. Um, we do have three beast ring. One worker presser is left. Okay. Yep, that's good. Yep. Okay. So we're going to attach beast energy here. And we're going to Sycamore. Hopefully we can hit the battle compressor or some way to discard energy. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Um, I do have to hit 150 regardless anyways on this Raikou. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and put three more fire energy in this card. We gotta be wary here. Um, maybe I just do two for right now. Huh. Do I have Versus Seeker? No. I think I wanna put Guzma in, in the discard though. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's fine. That way, if we beast ring, we can, we'll be ready. Um, I think I want to hold on to the stadium, honestly. Yeah, because we have two, we, we have enough. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and field blower. Let's go ahead and just get rid of these two. I don't like choice bands. Let's get them out of here. And then let's go ahead and charge up here. And now we will discard one energy from each of the Naga Nadels and then one from the active. And I think we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and just mind blown. Let's get rid of this, this, this. And that is enough damage. 30 extra more because we bumped the stadium. Get another field blower. It's not not that good. I mean, it's a playable card. Well, actually, no, it's not a playable card. Um, but let's see if my opponent gets anything down. He gets an electric energy, so he could full voltage here. There's not... Oh, if he gets a stadium, he can do the 160, huh? Yeah, that is something he could do. He has mag cargo. If he can get play his hand down, he can get the stadium. Uh, the stadium I'm referring to is he takes he can electric Pokemon get uh, one colorless less um, energy. So he's got rescue stretcher. Let's see if he can play his hand down one more card. Looks like he's gonna bench the Raikou. But honestly, if we blow this thing up, it's looking really bad for my opponent. Um, let's see. We have both blacksmith and discard pile, so we can't lele for a blacksmith. Okay, so my opponent did play his hand down uh, enough. So now he can smooth over for the stadium and hit me for um, 160 to take the knockout. Which is okay with me, because um, we can definitely get the knockout this turn. We just have to charge up, charge up. Um, yeah, we do have one more left, and when this gets knocked out, we'll have two in the discard pile. Um... 150, 160, 70, 80. Yep, there's the Thunder Mountain. That's exactly what I was saying. But we have our Heat Factory to bump that with, which is cool. So he will not get that bonus effect any longer. So we have won the Stadium War, I believe, unless he plays more Aether Paradise. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? Do I want a Sycamore? I think I do want to get another Blessethalon, of course I do. Let's get the full art. The full art's sick. I love it. To do that, I'm worried I'm going to draw into my energy and beast ring. That's kind of like what I'm really worried about, honestly. But let's just go ahead and do this. Let's Heat Factory first. Because, um, yeah, there we go. Perfect. 
Sweet. There's a higher chance of us hitting the beast ring rather than sycamoring and then drawing all of our energy and beast rings. That kind of suck. And we got Colrus too, so it's awesome. Okay. So we're definitely going to get the knockout here. And I don't know how my opponent gets back from this. You guys can tell me in the comments, but I don't know how my opponent gets out of this situation. So we're going to get nine cards. We can chorus, or we, I mean, we can beast ring for one fire energy. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and wowzers, this is good. We don't have anything. I mean, we can rescue stretcher back those Pokemon, but it's not worth it. Now, at this point, I kind of just want to thin my hand down. So let's just do this and this. Um, yeah, honestly, there's just there's nothing my opponent can do. I, we're pretty much set up in the fact that um, we're pretty much set up in the fact that, you know, even if they end us, we pretty much win. So I think we're going to mind blown and we're going to, we do have Guzma in the, in the discard pile, correct? Yes, we do. So we're going to mind blown and take off, we have to take off four, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's mind blown. We're going to take off this, this. This and this. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Let's do that. We are running low on fire energy. It's worthy to know. However, like I said, I don't I don't know how my opponent comes back from this. <coughs> There's our last Naganadel and a Fire Energy to boot. So, yeah, we definitely we definitely have the knockout here. We can just Guzma up Zara Aura. Ooh, Mag Cargo GX, nice. Crushing Charge. Once during your turn, you may discard the top card of your deck. If it's a basic energy card, attach it anywhere to one of your Pokemon. Sweet. <clears throat> so he's just gonna poke us here and attach to the bench. Poor Raikou. I remember when Raikou Raichu was trying to be a deck. It just didn't work out because that was in the time Buzzwole was super popular. So we get a smooth over for an energy and then Crushing Charge is going to attach it there. This is a really cool idea, cool deck idea. It just, <clears throat> it's just really slow, I guess. You have to get all these pieces up, right? Two stage ones. <clears throat> and yeah. <laughs> Two stage ones. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so my opponent just sent the here. That's guaranteed game. Unless uh, they play a red card. Good golly. I think this is a standard deck, right? <clears throat> no, they play Max Elixir, so. <clears throat> Maybe a Lysander in here would be cool. <clears throat> Maybe cut down a Chorus for a Lysander. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and just. Uh, blow up that Zera Aura. Be a secret for Guzma. I want to evolve. Just get like the best board possible. But I'm not gonna slow roll my opponent or anything. I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just gonna discard everything. There we go. There you go, guys. That is expanded Blacephalon GX Naganadel. Uh, tell me what you guys think, uh, what you would switch, what you like about the deck. Um, there's definitely this deck definitely needs to be refined in some way. It's not perfect whatsoever. Um, you can definitely tell there's clunked hands. Reason why I don't include things like um, like Arangaru or Octillery or anything like that is because if you notice, everything in this deck, except for Blacephalon, has one retreat cost. So it's super easy. If Naganadel gets brought up, it just charge up, retreat, um, Tapu Lele, attach, retreat. And then if you play smartly, your Blacephalons will always have one energy attached. And your opponent doesn't want to Guzma one of these Blacephalons because literally that is uh, the Pokemon that's going to be doing the damage. It's going to be the one taking prizes. So honestly, 
It's a really cool deck. Um, it's a good content contender for expanded for sure. Um, <clears throat> maybe upping the blacksmith count. Uh, I know my friend Blaine is testing with four battle compressors. So, I mean, there's definitely different things you can do here. Um, energy count seems perfect to me. I don't think I would change 16 for sure. Yeah, so uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me what you guys want me to experiment with. Um, there is some really cool uh, ideas floating around about uh, Lost March and Expanded. There is the Lost March with the Ditto, the Transform Ditto. That would be really cool. You literally have Ditto, Hop Hip, Skip Loom, and then you attach Clef Key, and that is four Pokemon in the Lost Zone already. Seems pretty broken. Seems cool. <laughs> seems cool. Seems cool. Yeah, seems cool. Spooky Scary Skeletons. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking to the end. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.